Hi friends. Today I shall discuss centers of triangle in my lecture. In our schools, we generally discuss about center of a circle, but centers of triangles are rarely discussed. In my this lecture, I am just going to briefly introduce the centers of a triangle. That is, my focus will be on the definition of the centers of triangle and what all are the types of centers of a triangle. First of all, centroid. Centroid is represented by G. It is the first center of a triangle. Next one is in center. Third, circle center. Fourth one, ortho center. And the last one is X center. So these are five basic centers of triangles which I shall discuss in this lecture. Other than this, there is one more center known as nine point center or the center of a nine point circle which I shall discuss in my next lecture. So let us discuss all these centers one by one. First of all, centroid. Let us suppose triangle ABC is given to us and let's pick midpoint of each side of this triangle B be a midpoint of BC similarly E and F are the midpoints of rest of the two sides if I join midpoint with the opposite vertex this line segment is known as a median so what is median? Median is defined as a line segment joining midpoint of one side of a triangle to the opposite vertex. And let's draw another median that is BE. Now these two medians intersect at a specific point and that point is generally represented by G and is known as centroid of a circle. In order to show the centroid, it is sufficient to draw two medians. It is, you are not supposed to, it is not required to draw the third median. In fact, even if you draw the third median, the third median will intersect the first two medians at point G only. That is, all these three lines, they will intersect as a, at a specific point and that point is G which is known as centroid of a triangle. Now, next one is, next center is in center. Again, let us suppose we have a triangle ABC. And let's draw the angle bisector of angle A. And similarly, we shall draw the angle bisector of angle B. Now, these two angle bisectors, they intersect at a point, And that point is represented by I and is known as in center of a triangle. Again, we, we, we don't require to draw the third angle bisector because even the third angle bisector will intersect at I only. Next one, circumcenter. Now, another triangle, I've taken this triangle as H, I and J. In this triangle, I have drawn a perpendicular bisector of line of side I, J. Perpendicular bisector, friends, for perpendicular bisector is a line which divides the another line segment into two equal parts and is perpendicular to it. So this is a perpendicular bisector of side IJ. Let's draw another perpendicular bisector and that perpendicular bisector is to the side HJ. Now these two perpendicular bisectors intersect at a specific point and that specific point is represented by C and this is known as circumcenter circumcenter of a circle. Even if I draw the third perpendicular bisector, it will again intersect at point C, that is circumcenter of a circle. Let's come to the next center, that is orthocenter. Again, we have a triangle ABC. In this triangle, let's draw an altitude. Now, what is altitude? Altitude is perpendicular drawn from a vertex to the opposite side. And this altitude, this altitude, uh, the foot of the altitude is point D. Now let's plot another altitude to side AC from vertex B. Now these two altitudes intersect each other at a specific point and that specific point is represented by H. And H is known as ortho of a triangle. 
next one and if, even if I draw the third altitude it will again intersect at point H X center the last center in this lecture I am going to discuss X center there are th actually three X centers and I shall draw only one let's consider we have a triangle ABC and let us extend two sides side AB and AC I have extended these two sides now let's draw an angle bisector of exterior angle B and at the same time I am going to draw an angle bisector of exterior angle C now these two exterior angles their angle bisectors will intersect at a given point and that point is represented by E1 E1 is the first X center of this triangle and one more thing which is very interesting if you draw the angle bisector of angle A it will again intersect at point E1 so this is the first X center of a triangle. Similarly, we can take X center opposite to vertex C and we can take X center opposite to vertex B also. So there will be three X centers in a given circle. Thank you. See you in my next video. Till then, bye.